So I can deal with low ball offers. I can deal with people that don't pay for their items. But pulling these $1 stickers off, all these DVDs that I've bought is probably the most frustrating part of my reselling. I'm gonna be here for hours. Let me know in the comments, what's your most frustrating part of reselling? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well out there. This is the Sunday show where I take you through nine of my very best sold sales items on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. I also highlight a featured reseller of the week doing some really great things. And then I wanna take you through some interesting sales numbers this week. I've got a little bit of a story behind the reasons as to why, but it's gonna be a big episode, a lot of information to get through. If you are here for the first time, I'm putting out three new videos here on YouTube talking about all things online reselling, how to make money online. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. It's a great way to support the channel and I just can't thank you enough. Uh, let's dive into it guys. The first item that I've got is, you guessed it, another entertainment unit that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, so first item up guys is this Medang entertainment unit that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. It's exactly how I like to buy my furniture around about that price point. Um, now this one was actually poorly advertised because there were a few imperfections on this piece of furniture, but uh, I've ended up going ahead and taking it anyway. Put about an hour's worth of work into it back home, had to put some timber filler into the legs where there was some chip marks taken out of it. Um, but it's been well worth the effort because this one's got on and sold for $175. So I've made $125 profit. It's sold the very next day from when I uh, uploaded it onto Facebook. And uh, that just goes to show the way furniture actually moves. It's super quick and it's really high profit. So that's why I put it at the start of these videos to try and help you guys get into the mindset of going out and finding furniture because you'll make a lot of money from it in the reselling game. Um, so 125 bucks, first item of furniture. I did sell another piece of furniture this week as well. So let's get into that one. Another piece of furniture for this second item, guys, it was the makeup table, the dressing table that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace again for $50. Now, I really umped an art about how much to put this one on because I know that these are a really quick item to sell on Marketplace and they're actually a really hard item to get your hands on for around the $50 purchase price. They go on to sell for roughly $200 and I thought I would list this one up for $200 and just fingers crossed hope to get it. Um, wasn't the case, ended up holding onto it for nine days had to bring my price down to 180 to 160 and eventually to $140 before I got any real serious buyers. Um, fortunately, the lady that ended up buying this one also paid me $10 worth of delivery. Not that I asked for it because I always do free delivery with my pieces of furniture. But in the end, this one has ended up selling for $150. It sold in the space of a little over a week, nine days to get this one done. Uh, but the white dresser tables, they are a very good item. Uh, this one even had the Hollywood lights as well that can light up. So maybe a daughter of this lady Lady was absolutely going to love this piece of furniture for her bedroom um, and I've been able to profit a hundred bucks from it so really happy there 50 into 150 it's the way I operate with furniture and to wait nine days to get this result I wasn't too disappointed now, hopefully you guys tuned into my trip to the thrift video on Thursday. It was a whole heap of fun. I bought a stack of items. This was one of them. I bought two Halo digital prints or wall prints, canvas prints, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are going to go on to sell pretty quick. I knew that the Halo name was, was going to get things moving fast for me. I've never bought these before. I just sort of looked at the opportunity and figured that at that cost, you know, $6 and $8, $14 in, I could probably get away with some money on Facebook Marketplace for it. Um, in the end, I actually only paid $2 each. The lady in the op shop gave me a very good discount on everything that I purchased. Always try and build your relationships with the guys in the op shops. But uh, this one has gone on sale on Facebook Marketplace for $50 for the two of them, $25 each. I think I could probably could have got a few more dollars for these, but I was happy to just move them out the door, get it done on Facebook Marketplace with no fees associated. And like I said, it was a first. I hadn't sold many of these. I didn't really roughly know how much to set the price at. But to put $50 in my pocket of a $4 investment on a next day sale, not too bad. Next item up is this men's long sleeve Hard Rock Cafe Banff uh, men's shirt. Now this one was a good one. Paid $5 for it in the thrift and I probably listed this one for too high of a price point initially, which has caused the 59 day sales cycle to result. But in the end, I've ended up taking an offer on it for $42. Take out fees and postage, I've made a $24.34 profit. I think if you're doing 25 bucks in profit on a single item of clothing, uh, you've picked a winner out of the thrift and that was certainly the case for this one. I knew it would go on to sell well. The, uh, the Hard Rock Cafe is a bit of a collector's item for people out there and Banff is a beautiful part of the world. I've spent some time 
time in Canada myself. But um, yeah, to get this one finally out the door after wearing it a few times as well, I might add, uh, it was good to get the job done. Hey, cool find here, guys. This was in the Trip to the Thrift episode just on Thursday. Really fast sale, three-day sales cycle. It was the Keen Hiking Boots. If you watched the episode, hopefully you remember this one. Um, look, this was the, the Rally Roots guys that really got me into this brand. I knew nothing of it before I watched those videos. Uh, so thank you very much to those guys. $84.99 these Keen Hiking Boots have gone on to sell for. I've paid just $10 for it on Thursday in the Thrift. Very surprised to see a, a pair of boots really in this good a quality. Uh, sitting there for just ten dollars you take out the fees you take out the postage it's a profit of fifty four dollars and nineteen cents on this one so a fantastic result i can see why the guys over in the states buy these regularly they're a little more i think common over there than they are here i don't see a lot of the keen brand uh, but for anyone in australia watching this or anywhere else around the world i guess look out for this brand because they are a quality shoe and if you can get them in good condition there's some really good money to be made. Now, I've been spending a little bit of time recently on the DVD category. I really like to sell the DVDs. They don't make a stack of money, but they do accumulate over time. And I have a lot of fun doing comp research in the thrift shop because I know that there's always a chance that you can find a DVD, maybe worth 30 or $40, even in used condition. This was certainly the case for this one here. It was Tales of the Dark Side. And it was just simply by going through the list of DVDs in the store and doing my comp research on every single one that this randomly popped up to be a good deal. So I've paid $2 for it. It sold for $27.50. Postage fees, I've profited $17.43 on this single used DVD out of the thrift. Yeah, it does take some time to do your comp research and that can get a little bit tedious, but I have a lot of fun doing it. I kind of get a kick out of finding the $30 one. It's like a scratching a scratchy. You find the good one out of the bunch of duds. Um, but this one sold in the space of 28 days. Just goes to show that there is some money to be made out there in the DVDs if you've got the time and the effort to, to just sift through and find the right ones. Um, I did have that bulk DVD purchase as well. So a quick update on that. I bought 88 brand new DVDs. I've gone on to sell about 30 of them now and I've been able to profit upwards of about $160 so far. So it's only gonna to continue to rise. I've got another 50 DVDs to sell. Um, I think that one will be well over $500 worth of profit. So DVDs, guys, if you're not into it, I know a lot of you are out there because I've been speaking to a few of you, but um, yeah, certainly get into the DVDs because you never know, you might find a good one out of the, out of the bunch. Now, I wanted to put this next one into the video because of the purchase price. It was the Shimano men's road cycling shoes that I picked up in the thrift a few days ago and I've spent $17 on them in the thrift store. Um, but I wanted to put it into the video because I know that these go on a sell in a quick space of time. This one has, it's sold in the space of just two days. I really recommend that you look out in your garage sales or in your local thrift stores for these road cycling shoes because they are worth a bit. This one's gone on sale for $59.95. When you take out uh, fees and postage and obviously the cost initially, Look, I profited $28 and you guys know it's $30 that I like to get for my shoes. So it's been around that ballpark figure. But uh, initially on the $17 spend, I think a few months ago, I probably would have passed up on the opportunity. But just through experience of knowing that these shoes actually do go on to sell in a really quick space of time, I went ahead and just paid full price at $17. So the lesson that I've learned here that I wanted to pass on to you guys, if you know you can get good money for an item and you have to pay a little bit more for it, do it because it's the experience of knowing that it goes on to sell that will cause you to actually not be too much of an out-of-pocket. Next item up are these women's running shoes that I picked up in a local thrift store for just $4. Now, I love the Asics brand. These were the GT2000 women's running shoes and they've gone on to sell for $54.97. So take out your fees, take out your postage. I've profited $36.62. Sales cycle on this was just 14 days. So it was a really quick mover. I love to sell running shoes. It's such a big category for me. I always pick them up whenever I see them out in the, out in the thrift. Um, to buy these for just $4 was obviously a pretty good initial investment. Uh, and to make over my $30 that I like to do was a pretty good result. So happy to get this one done. I always stress the ASICS brand is a fast selling item. And if you can find the GT2000s, hopefully you'll make a little over 55. Here's one that just sold this morning. Uh, I did have to wait 125 days for it, but there was a bit of story behind this that I wanted to obviously include in today's video. It was Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Xbox game, the original Xbox game. Now, this was just a $2 find in the op shop. It sold for $24.99. So postage $4.50, fees $3.25. I've been able to profit $15 basically 
for this Xbox game. And look, while it was purchased out of the thrift, I really do think this is a good item or a good thing to look for on Facebook Marketplace. It's very common that you can purchase consoles and maybe 10 to 15 games in a bulk deal for around about a $50 price point. And what I think you should be doing is what I'm doing is selling the console with a few games and then pinching out the good games like this, for example, and selling it individually because you're gonna go on to make a hell of a lot more money doing it that way, as opposed to just reselling it back in bulk. So that's what I've done here. While it was a thrift store item, I could have put it into a bundled purchase with a, a console, but I've chosen because of its resale value to list it individually. And uh, I've been able to get top dollar for it, selling it for 25 bucks, I thought was awesome. And uh, to profit $15 on a single game that I only spent $2 on, it's a, pay, a space to play in. So they were my nine best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully you got some value out of those. I do want to dive right into our featured reseller of the week. To be the featured reseller of the week, all you need to do is submit a comment with your best sold sales item of the week and a little bit of a story behind how it came about. Um, today, we've got Jonathan Gibson. He's been a really long-term supporter of the channel. I think he's subscribed for the last couple of months. Uh, always comments on videos. I, I truly can't thank you enough, Jonathan, for watching the channel. But uh, he submitted a really cool uh, sale that I I wanted to highlight today it was stingers the dvd series now this is a rare australian undercover police series that you don't find too often so the value goes up on ebay and he's been able to sell this one for 200 dollars plus 15 dollars postage so a really great sale but i wanted to include him into today's video as our featured reseller because of the way this sale has come about it's something that i've spoken about a lot recently and that is building relationships you can obviously build it in the thrift store you can build it with your wholesale supply Suppliers, but he's been actually building this relationship with a person on Facebook Marketplace. Now, this lady will actually get in touch with him and let him know before she even lists an item what she's got to sell. And then Jonathan can really just pick and choose if he wants to go ahead and make a purchase. So by doing that, he's been able to find these Stingers DVDs on a really good pickup and he's known that it can go on to sell for $200. So he's made himself a really good profit here by purchasing this for a pretty cheap price. And to be able to get $200 for it on eBay is just just a fantastic result. So absolutely doing the right thing there in building your relationships with the suppliers out there, whether it be just a punter on Facebook Marketplace or a wholesale supplier or the local person in your thrift store. So well done, Jonathan. Wanted to highlight you today, mate. A great way of networking and building relationships to get a great sale and a pretty good one there as well in Stingers. I'll certainly be looking for it myself. All right, let's jump into my sales numbers as well for the week, just to let you know how I'm tracking. It's been an interesting week this week, but we'll pull the table up and I'll give you a look at the numbers. I've been able to sell 46 items this week, which is quite high. I think I've only gone over 50 once before. So this would probably be my second or third most sold items in a single week. So I've been pretty happy about that. Cost of goods, $382.65. And that's resulted in a total sales volume of $1,694. And 62 cents. So I've profited, guys, this week $1,311.97 with a profit margin of 77%. So, look, this week, as I briefly touched on before we had a look at the numbers there, it, it's been an interesting week for me because it's the first time where I've really thought that I need to step back and take a bit of a break. I put out a video on Tuesday, which was really more so me just talking about the fact that I was feeling a little bit burnt out last week. And even in the weeks leading up to last week, and I felt like I needed to just step away and just have some time off. It, it only needed to be a day. And uh, I filmed a really cool video, which I had a lot of fun making. And um, it was really just to kind of get away from the numbers, get away from eBay, get away from YouTube, and, uh, and just do something fun. So... I'm going to start to schedule in a little bit more time off moving forward. What I have seen is even by taking Tuesday off and not doing a thing on eBay, I've been able to have a $1,700 sales week, which for me is probably in my top five worth of sales figures uh, over the six odd months that I've been doing it. So look, I was always sort of nervous about taking a day off because I thought my sales would slump, but to have had the day off this week and, and record a top five sales week, um, it really just proved to me that you can actually step away and it is good for your mental health um, to do so. So from now on, I'll, I'll definitely be taking one day off at some point that works for me every single week. 
um, just to tune out, relax, and, and get back into things with a bit more energy. And uh, I think that's really important for any of you guys out there. Um, if you are feeling a little bit burnt out, it is okay to step away and take a bit of a break. And I've certainly learned that lesson this week, but um, nothing different. I've, I've sort of held with my same sort of listing numbers, 15 a week, that's still going ahead. And uh, majority of my items have been thrifted items, but I was able to sell three pieces of furniture as well this week, which has obviously helped things. But um, really wrapped with 1,700. I do need to be getting towards 2,000, 2,300 to hit my $100,000 uh, annually, which is the, the goal for this year. So there is still a little bit of work left to do, but uh, a really great lesson learned and a really good sales result of $1,700 has made this uh, to be a pretty good week. So um, that's sort of my little recap that I'll, uh, I'll end this episode on. Hopefully you've had an awesome week. Hopefully you've made a stack of sales. Hopefully things are going well. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know how you're going. Let me know if burnout is a thing for you at the moment. And uh, I do look forward to catching you in the next episode, guys, which will be on Tuesday. Uh, things will just continue on as per usual. We'll put a good video out on Tuesday for you guys to tune into as well. So thanks for tuning into this one. I look forward to catching you in the next. We'll see you soon.